Hello everybody, my name is Dead Zero, and welcome to part one of Audacity Tutorials. Today we're going to talk about changing the pitch of your audio. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to record some audio, I'm going to explain what I'm going to do, and then we're going to show you. Okay, anybody that knows what pitch is, that is like the pitch of your voice. Like if it's low, low... Or if it's high, high, like that. You got a high pitch and a low pitch. Okay, I'm gonna do a little comparison here. Low, high, high, low, high, high. Low, high, high, low, high, high. Okay. Those last two weren't really high, but well, well, you get the you get the picture. If you're gonna do pitch correction, you highlight what you want to pitch, uh, what you want to change, and you hit change pitch, and this screen comes up. This is your change pitch uh, menu, I guess. Uh, you can use these up here. You can go from F down to B, or you can go this way. I'm just using the dragger here. When you're changing the pitch of your voice, um, a human voice on this, uh, you can go plus or minus 15%, and you won't really notice too much of a difference. I mean, you'll notice it, but if you go further away, your voice, it changes how you sound a lot more than normal. Say, say if you was down here, and you were talking, it would sound like you were Satan, or, or, or like you had like some kind of like dragon voice, or something like that, you have a deep, deep rumble. Um, you can actually use this to make breathing noises for large animals, actually. Like dragons, um, griffins, rhinos, bears, things like that. You, you move the slider down, and it gives you a deep rumble in, 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 in whatever sound you're making. If you slide it the opposite way, you get Alvin and the Chipmunks. You get high squeaky voices like this. Ha! Okay. You guys listened to the previous audio. Let's play it again just in case you forgot it. Low, high, high. Low, high, high. Okay. Now we're going to do the pitch change. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take it down uh, 70%. That's a good number. Let's listen to the preview. Sounds like a moose, doesn't it? It sounds like a moose call or something like that. If you take it up uh, 70%, uh, 69 is good enough. Low, high, high. Low. Hi, hi. You guys can easily tell the difference there. What you want to do is if uh, you use this to say you want an announcer voice. You want that guy that at the beginning of every movie trailer, he's like, in a galaxy far, far away. Like that. You want to drop your the pitch of your voice uh, between 12 and 20. Now, 15 is about right. We'll listen to this at 15. Low, high, high. Low, high, high. You guys got to watch it there also. Because if you do a pitch change where you're lowering it when you're talking in a high pitch, it distorts the audio more than if you're lowering it when you're talking in a deep, in, in a low pitch. Um, so this, this third one right here, this is a high pitch. I believe. Or... One of these two, I forgot which one it is now. But one of those two is a high pitch, and if, if you listen to that audio, that high pitch, it sounded very weird when when we lowered the uh, pitch percentage. Okay? Let's do something else. I'm going to do... Uh, earlier I said you can make animal noises with this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do some breathing exercises, and then we're going to lower the pitch so it sounds like a mythological beast or something. Okay? <sighs> okay, 
Okay. You guys heard that? Now let's do some pitch changes. We're going to take it down about 64. That sounded like some kind of like a wildebeest, uh, a large grazer animal. Yeah, I mean, if, if you guys have ever watched Animal Planet, that's how large creatures sound. They have a large diaphragm, so when they breathe, they have very wide necks, so they can stuff a lot of food down them. And it's a very low, rumbly sound. Lions, wildebeests, dragons, sounds, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Something else, like on the opposite end of the scale, if you're wanting to do a voice that's more f sounds like more like a female well you can't really do a female voice with this unless you actually have a female voice it's not suited for it it's, it'll sound weird no matter what you do but you can actually improve the scale um let's let's just do this um i'll, I'll just try to sound like a girl i mean i don't do this often but i'm gonna do it so you guys can get a example Hello everybody, my name is Mary Sue, and I go to Hogwarts, or something like that. Ha! Huh. Pathetic pebblums. I suppose you are a loser. Okay. Let's listen back, and I'll go over the high points here. Hello everybody, my name is Mary Sue, and I go to Hogwarts, or something like that. And if you guys noticed, I made my voice a higher pitch than what I normally talk. Um, this is very good when you're doing higher pitch stuff because if you go from a low pitch voice to a high pitch voice, your audio will be uh, distorted at, uh, at a greater uh, rate than if you're going from a high to a higher. Okay, let's do some pitch correction here. When you're doing high, uh, you want to not go over 20% because if you go over 20%, you sound like Alvin and the Chipmunks. Okay. So let's do a 12. Hello everybody, my name is Mary Sue, and I go to Hogwarts, or something like that. Ha! Huh. Pathetic pebblums. I suppose you are a loser. Okay, you can see a clear difference there. It, I sound, you know, pretty guyish, uh, talking in a high voice, you know, imitating the girl. And then when I when I change my the pitch of the voice by twelve percent or so, it sounds much more feminine. Fem feminum? Feminine. Feminine na, 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 na. Okay. I did that on purpose, just so you know. Don't judge me. Okay. And that is the basics of pitch correction, guys. It, this is very good if you guys are doing voiceovers for projects, things like that. You only got one voice actor. But you have multiple roles. You can change your pitch around so you don't sound like one guy's reading the script. Okay? Well, my name is Dead at Zero. This is part one of Audacity, tips, tricks, tutorials, whatever you want to call it. Uh, subscribe. I am going to put out some more videos of these, at least three or four more, with the different uh, s effects on each video. We're going to go over um, high pass, low pass, compression... Uh, noise removal. I've already did a noise removal video, so I have to do that one. We're gonna do like reverb, things like that that you can use when you're creating your videos or your music. Okay. Well, I do hope you guys have a good day, and goodbye.